Hey guys, uh, this is a video response to R.E. Lewis uh, 2011. Uh, he did a video on a backlog challenge. Uh, he's basically, for 2013, he's going through, he's going to try to get through as many games as possible and he's kind of set it up like a challenge and he, he hopes to, you know, finish all these games in the in, in 2013. Uh, so I thought I'd do a video response to that. Um, for me, I don't think I'm going to do quite do a challenge. I have 10 games here that for sure I want to complete uh, in 2013. Uh, they're all pretty high profile games. I'll, uh, most of them are RPGs. RPGs are, uh, tend to be what I like, uh, but I do have a couple action games interspersed with the RPGs. Uh, with that said, I'll get right into it with the first game, which is for the Nintendo DS, um, and that is Dragon Quest IV. I guess the subtitle is Chapters of the Chosen. Uh, the reason for me wanting to play this game uh, this year is the, the fact that I've never played a Dragon Quest game. Um, well, okay, that's kind of a lie. I did. I have briefly played Dragon Warrior, the original Dragon Warrior on the NES, but I didn't get very far. Um, you know, that game's ridiculously hard. Uh, but I figured this is one. This one's probably a good one to start with, uh, and I, I feel like I always need to start early in the series and make my way uh, forward. I never like jumping around in, in a series, even though I know these games aren't all connected or anything like that. Um, but this game, I've heard just such great things about uh, the series in general. I've heard such great things about, uh, you know, it's up there with Final Fantasy in terms of popularity. Uh, so I'm definitely, this is definitely a game that I hope to beat in 2013. I'm definitely going to get around to this soon. Um, the next game is... Final Fantasy IX for the PS1. Uh, I just actually recently beat my first Final Fantasy game uh, this past year, Final Fantasy VI on the Super Nintendo. Uh, and after I, that's still the only one I've played. I really enjoyed that game. I loved it. Uh, so I'm trying to get into the series now. Uh, it's just something I didn't grow up with, um, even as a lover of RPGs. I hear Final Fantasy IX is one of the best ones in the series, uh, so I definitely want to get playing this one. I think I'll play it after Final Fantasy IV. I want to get that on the Super Nintendo, play through that, uh, which I don't have that game here, but that's another game I plan to play through in 2013. Um, but this, I've had it for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to it, but this year I'll definitely make sure I get around to this game and see what all the fuss is about. Uh, the next game is another PS1 game. Uh, and that is Star Ocean The Second Story. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Star Ocean games. Uh, I love the first one. I played that on the PSP back when it came out, and I sold my PSP uh, like a fool. I should really buy that again. There's so many great RPGs on the PSP. Um, I love Star Ocean 3 and 4. I know a lot of people hate that, hate those games. I, I don't like the story or characters in those games. I think that it's kind of garbage, uh, the story and characters in, the, in those games. But the Star Ocean games have always had some of my favorite battle systems. Uh, Star Ocean 4, A New Hope on Xbox 360 and PS3. That has probably my favorite battle system in any RPG. Uh, that that battle system was fantastic. And I hear this one is probably the best one in the series, so I'm very excited to get into this one. Um, I heard it's quite difficult. I, I don't know, I, someone, I've heard someone talking about this game. They said they got stuck on the very final boss and they just couldn't beat the final boss. I don't know who that was, but someone mentioned that. So I, I'm kind of worried about maybe, the dip, maybe it being too over the top in terms of difficulty, but uh, the combat in this looks fantastic. Uh, great 2D sprites. Uh, this game looks phenomenal. I'm definitely excited to be playing, uh, to play through this game in 2013. Uh, definitely a game in my backlog. I need, I need to start this. Uh, and the last PS1 game here is Grandia or Grandia um, for the PS1. Uh, a series I've, another JRPG series I've never gotten into, and I've always wanted to. I picked this up. It's been a year, a year ago now, I think, when I picked this game up. Uh, and I've heard such great things about this. Uh, Nick 1982 really loves this game. I always hear him say great things about this game. Um, and I, I like what he said about the game. It's like, it feels like you're on an adventure. You know, you start off these with these kids and they kind of grow up. And I, I, I like that aspect. So I, I don't know too much on the battle system. I haven't actually looked too much into this game, but... I, I just, I always hear great things, and I definitely am going to be playing through this uh, in 2013. Uh, and here's an action title. I don't, I'll probably play this in between the large amount of RPGs I have here. Uh, and that game is Breakdown on the Xbox. Um, 
a really underrated game. I played this years ago, back when it first came out. Uh, I, I definitely want to play through it again. It's it's kind of a revolutionary kind of game. It's like it 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 played entirely from the first person perspective. You got first person fighting, gunplay, platforming, even. Uh, it it sounds like it wouldn't work, but it does, and it's got a really cool sci-fi mystery storyline uh, from what I remember. So I'm very excited to actually be going back and playing through this game. Hopefully it's as good as I remember. I didn't actually beat this game, though, uh, when I first played it. There's Towards the end of the game, there's a gauntlet-type thing where you have to fight waves of waves of enemies, and I could never get through it. Uh, that, that, that was a very difficult part of the game. I could probably get through it now, at, at least I think, I hope so. Uh, but this will be one of those action games I play when I'm kind of fatigued on the RPGs. Uh, next is a game I can't believe I haven't played this, but not growing up with a PS1 or PS2, I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, and that's Kingdom Hearts on the PS2. I've, I haven't gotten into this series. I don't know how much I'll like this series. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Disney movies in general. Um, I don't want to say I have grown out of them, because, you know, a lot of adults like Disney. Uh, I just, even as a kid, I just never really watched too many Disney movies. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure that probably won't be a problem. I'm sure I'll fall in love with this game. Um, the, this series has got such uh, ador adoration for it. Uh, and I, I hear this is probably one of the best ones, uh, along with number two. I hear number two is really good. And Birth by Sleep on the PSP. Um, so, you know, like the RPG real-time kind of action combat in this game looks fantastic. So I'm definitely, definitely excited to see what I think of this. And hopefully it's as good as people th say it is. Um, so, yet again, another RPG. Well, this one's a bit more action-oriented, uh, so I probably, I'll probably play this after one of those long uh, turn-based RPGs. Uh, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, next one is a level 5 game. I'm playing Nino Kuni right now. It's my first level 5 game. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go to this game right after that, uh, but it is the next level 5 game I want to play, because out of all of their games, this one's looked the most interesting to me. Uh, and that's Rogue Galaxy. Uh, I love just sci-fi JRPGs. Uh, it's part of the reason why I love the Star Ocean games so much. And this game looks right, like looks in line with them. Uh, the battle system looks to be a real, like a real-time combat, which I, I definitely in JRPGs I kind of prefer the real-time combat. Though I love turn-based as well. Um, the story looks interesting. Uh, more than 100 hours of gameplay, it says. So this is one of those huge RPGs that I'm going to be playing. Uh, basically for a very long time, it, it seems. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go for the 100% completion rate. Apparently that's absolutely insane, uh, getting 100% completion in this game, but uh, definitely out of all the level 5 games, this is the one I've wanted to play the most. Uh, I have Dragon Quest VIII back in my collection, too. I might get to that one this year, I don't know. I kind of want to go through the Dragon Quest games in order, so I'm probably not going to be playing that game for a while, but Rogue Galaxy I'm definitely going to get to in this year. Uh, next one is kind of, they're somewhat action titles, more adventure kind of games. Uh, again, these two games are such classics, I've never, I've never played them. Uh, that's the Ico and Shadow, uh, Shadow of the Colossus collection on the PS3. Haven't played either of these games. Ico is, you know, obviously a very uh, artistic game. Uh, it's Pete Doerr's favorite game of all time. I, it's a game I've always wanted to play and just haven't. And then Shadow of the Colossus is, of course... Everyone loves that game. Um, so after I finish a long RPG, I'll dive right into this. I'm very excited to see what the fuss is about with these games. Uh, but they definitely look fantastic um, visually uh, from an environment point of view. I hear with Ico, like the camera is bad, and with Shadow of the Colossus, the controls are complicated. I can usually get over that stuff, so I think I'll, I think I'll really enjoy this. Uh, these two games. Uh, next is another PS3 game, uh, JRPG, uh, one that's gotten quite high praise and is considered one of the best RPGs on the PS3. Uh, that's Valkyria Chronicles. Again, haven't gotten into this series. Uh, I know this game looks just so unique. Uh, I'm not... the strategy RPGs, I like them. The problem with them is I, I'm really bad at them. Uh, so I don't know, this game might be difficult, but hopefully I can get into this. Um, it just, you know, the, the visuals look interesting. I love the, the setting is really unique. Uh, it's it's one of those JRPGs that's not typical. It's 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 very out of the ordinary, and it definitely looks fantastic. Heard great things. 
uh, and another RPG I hope to play and complete uh, in 2013. And lastly is uh, <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, this copy's sealed. Uh, the story with this game is I imported it from Europe back when I thought this game would never had a chance in hell of coming out here. Um, played through it, got around 30 hours in, was loving it, and then for some strange reason my save data got corrupted. I don't know how it happened, but yeah, I kind of lost interest in it after that. I bought this on release, and it's been sealed ever since. Uh, and this year I plan to go back and play this, because this game, obviously the praise for this game is so high. Uh, I think Ari Lewis uh, had this in his in his video. I'm going to also be playing this in 2013, and hopefully completing it. I know this is a beast of a game. Don't know when I'll get around to this, but I hear great things about the game. And from what I did play, the 30 hours I put into it, it is a fantastic game. Um... And the way I play these games, I kind of don't play like more than one game at once. I've kind of always been like that uh, through my life. I usually stick with one game and keep playing it until I'm finished. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not able to actually fatigue that quickly doing that. Uh, but some of those action games, I may play alongside them, like Breakdown or Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Um, but those are basically my 10 games that are a part of my backlog that I hope to finish in 2013. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.